okay welcome back in this one we'll make a proper html page to show the employee detail okay so first thing we are returning the http response here instead of http response we will render the html page okay so we will remove this http response and return render request comma okay return render request comma employee detail employee underscore detail dot html and this employee detail dot html does not exist inside the templates right we also need to create that file so inside the templates folder you just create a new file and name it employee detail dot html all right so now uh, we can just test it by saying this is the employee detail page okay this is the employee detail page and when you go to this page you should see this template okay so wherever you go you should see uh, of course so we will not get the result here if i go to one you should see this okay so this is actually the dynamic one now what i'll do is i will actually uh, need the bootstrap things also right so for that reason i will copy all the code from this home.html and put it inside the employee detail dot html okay so here of course we are using the same code as home dot html inside the employee detail dot html and definitely i know this is not the good practice i know how to reuse the code but for now this will be too much for you to understand okay so that's why i'm just using the same code as uh, we are using in the home.html okay so we have another uh, topic called base.html but we'll see that in the later part of this course okay so for now just copy whatever the code uh, you are using in the home.html and put it inside the employee detail.html okay so inside the employee detail.html uh, we will remove some things here okay because uh, this is actually the employee list right so this page is employee detail not list so we will also remove this uh, table We'll remove this table okay and uh, we will simply keep the container okay refresh this page and you'll see nothing okay there is nothing of course so but this page uh, has a uh, bootstrap implemented okay so this is the uh, title and uh, everything else is same so inside this container uh, what i'll do is i will actually create a div with a class of cart okay i'm using bootstrap in bootstrap we have a card so if you want to see that bootstrap card so here uh, click on this first result and uh, you can see the examples of cards okay so you can copy whatever card you want to uh, you want to use in your uh, website okay so for example you can use this one and for me what i'll do is i will use this one okay i'll use this one this also has the image right so that's why i will simply copy this code okay i'm not going to write the html code uh, line by line because this course is concentrating on django okay so that's why i'm not going to write too much of html code so currently what i have done is i have actually put the card here and i'll refresh okay so here you can see i'm printing the card but I want this card to be on the center, right? So for that, I will add another a class MX Auto. Okay, MX Auto with this card. Refresh. Okay, so here it is. All right. So here, first thing I want to print is the image. We can print something else also. Let's try to print the first name and last name here. But uh, you know what? We don't have access to first name and last name inside this employee detail dot html because uh, we have taken the employee here, but we are not passing this employee inside the employee detail dot html. Okay. So how to pass that? As I said in the previous video, we use context. Okay. We use context. Context is equal to it's actually a dictionary, and inside the single quotation or double quotation, we pass the key. This will be our key and uh, dictionary will always have key and uh, values right so i hope you know that uh, basic python okay then we are passing the value key and value okay so this can be anything but whatever we use here 
will go inside the HTML uh, page. Okay, so employee colon employee, you know, we have created the context and we can pass that context inside the employee detail dot HTML. Now we have the access to the employee. Okay, now let's uh, try to print it here. I'll remove this instead of that I will say employee dot first name employee dot first name the same way I will say employee dot employee dot last name okay now let's refresh okay now you can see we are printing employee dot first name and last name because we are using one if you see three then you can see joe joseph this is the three all right and i'll go back to one okay now i want to print uh, email address also i just copied the above line and uh, here i'll say employee dot email address okay employee dot email address refresh and here you can see ratan at the rate gmail.com which is in the database okay and i'll say uh, m0 to here to this also i'll add m0 because that is actually taking a lot of uh, margin bottom okay so that's why then i'll again copy the line employee dot this time i'll say okay this will be the signature okay and then we have email address and then we have this phone number okay phone number refresh the page okay ratan kumar software developer my email address and my phone number and uh, here i need to actually uh, put the image source which is my photo right so this alternative text can be employee photo this is a static thing okay and uh, source what we need to do we need to actually open this uh, template variable that is a uh, double curly places and we should say employee dot employee dot what in the model what we have photo right employee dot photo okay so you must be saying we should do this one okay employee dot photo because uh, everywhere else we are using employee dot field name employee dot field name employee dot field name right but in case of this photo we cannot say employee dot field name but we also need to say employee dot field name dot url okay that is because if you know about this img tag the source attribute will take the path it will not take the photo itself okay it will actually take the path path of the url so that's why we print the employee photos url okay then this image tag will render the photo okay so now uh, let's uh, refresh okay now you can see we are actually rendering the photo now if i go back to three it will show another photo right so that's how we fetch the details of any employee okay now what i need to do i want to go back to the uh, home page right so here i'll put a button go back to home so let's say inside the container i'll create the a tag with the class btn btn primary if you don't know what is this btn btn primary just go to bootstrap buttons and you will see that okay so here i'll say back to home okay so when i click on this back to home button i need to go back to the home page okay so refresh so we have this button you can place this button wherever you want instead of uh, putting this button there i'll cut this and put it here okay back to home all right so this looks good i think so when i click on this home button so i want to go to this uh, this page i want to go to this page okay so how to do that uh, see here we have this href right so we need to include the home url here okay but uh, you know what we just have the home url here okay where is it inside the my site uh, this urls.py we have the path right so this path function will also take another attribute another parameter that is called name 
okay so we can set the name to here so the name will be home okay so because uh, this view is home right so that's why i can name this as home but if you wish to name it different then you can maybe set home page front page or whatever it is okay now i have set the name to this path right so that's why i can call this name inside the employee detail page okay so here i again open the template tag curly braces and percentage then i'll say url okay because this is a url so that's why i'm calling url and then we say home okay so when i print this then what will happen is when rendering the page okay when rendering the page it will print the home url okay uh where is it home home url pattern which is nothing of course it will uh, print the home page and uh, you know i should go to employees and one okay now here when i click on this uh, back to home then it is taking me to the home page right now again when i click on this uh, ratan kumar or any other data i want to go to the employee detail this particular detail right so for that what i'll do i will go back to this urls.py and here also i'll put the name okay name is equal to um employee underscore detail okay employee detail save okay so this path will be employee detail and so that's why when i go to my home page where is my home page so here i want to click on this first name and last name right so that's why i will cut this and put it inside a a tag okay a tag and here in the href i'll say url okay so not this variable tag it should be percentage percentage okay url and which url pattern i want to print here let's quickly see that okay this is my site and this one is employees right i want to print this path okay with this primary key dynamic primary key right so i will say employee detail and uh, the home.html i will print this one okay url employee detail and this will also take the id right so that's why i will say uh, which id m dot id okay m dot id so this id is actually the primary key okay pk that is nothing but pk all right so we are printing pk here or the id and refresh okay so when you refresh this will be anchor tag now and when i click on this ratan kumar it will show the detail about ratan kumar and go back to home and when i click on this joe joseph and it will show all the detail about joe joseph the same way if you have so many data this url patterns will work that way okay so this is about the basic things about django